Um, am I audible, Pradeep? Yes, sir. Okay guys, only seven have joined so far, so we'll wait for another two, four minutes. Why there are less number of students, guys? Any idea? Only 13 have joined so far. 14 now.
Okay, guys, if you have joined, I guess we'll get started. Okay, uh, I'll just share the screen. If you remember in the previous class, we had started with book building process. We tried to understand, we were discussing about the book building process. Um, I hope you're clear with that book building process thing, uh, whatever was told to you. Okay, uh, can everybody come in the video mode for two minutes first? Let's have a discussion and then I'll go with the slides and the class. Can everybody come in the video mode? Okay, uh, so yesterday, if you remember, we were discussing about the book building process first, uh, the di different types of issues, uh, pricing the issues. So one is fixed pricing, another is book building process. In fixed pricing, the company decides what should be the price of the uh, share that they're going to issue. Whereas in book building, there is something called as a tendering that happened or bidding that happened. And on the basis of the bidding, the price is decided. Uh, the, uh, on the basis of number of the highest uh, bids for a particular price, on the basis of that, the overall price of the uh, shares is decided. I hope you're clear with that process. Any doubts in that particular process? If you're clear, please give a thumbs up so that I can continue. I understand that you have understood it. Okay, great, fine. So in that case, we'll just directly start with the uh, next part itself, okay? That is uh, book building process, what are the steps and uh, how it is done, all those things, okay? I just confirm if you can see the screen. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, so in the, uh, so we, st we had started with uh, book building process, okay? So, uh, sorry, yeah, pricing strategy is what we did, dealt in the previous class, then we started with book building process. Now, uh, I gave you an example, if you remember in the previous class, I gave you an example where we discussed as to how book building happens and the different prices, then uh, what are the different types of valuations which are done. So if you remember, we I told you the discounted cash flow approach is used or relative valuation is used, where we took an example of ABC company and uh, there was some other company, I don't remember the name, but we took those examples and then um, I still remember the price as 480 to um, 490, that was the price and different prices for bidding and then the highest bid, okay? So uh, basically why book building is done, it is a process of price discovery. You want to discover the price. So book building is a combination of both qualitative as well as quantitative techniques. Quantitative techniques because the initial price has to be decided. You have to come up with an initial price and then only you can decide on the price band and then uh, go for bidding. So to, uh, to find out or to come at, or to arrive at the initial price, you need to go for valuation. Now that valuation, as I said, can be done in different ways. There are different methods like discounted cash flow method, non-discounted cash flow method, relative valuation method, then book value method, and there are option pricing method, etc. There are lots of methods that are used for valuating uh, the share price of a particular company or valuation of the company. Okay, so using that you arrive at the base price. Okay, we also call it as floor price. Once you get the floor price, then you decide, okay, uh, what should be your cap price? Okay, uh, let's say in the previous example, we had the floor price as 480, and then we decided that the cap price should be around, uh, around 490. Um, and um, I have also told you the condition that it cannot be more than 20%, right? So uh, when you decide on the floor price and the cap price, then you, the bidding starts, the syndicate member starts bidding, 
and then you arrive at a particular the book runner okay the lead book runner arrives at a particular price at which there is highest bids or highest demand okay so it's demand and supply okay so it is a method or a process of price discovery then investors decide on the price at which they would bid for the shares yes it is decided by the investors themselves that what price they want to bid the shares or to buy the shares for okay then final price is determined on the basis of demand and supply okay that also we saw in the previous class okay like there are different types of uh, different sets of prices which are available and on and then demand for each and every price is calculated if i still remember um, 480 there was uh, around 1 crore uh, people then for 482 around 6 crore people and then subsequently uh, 2 crores and 0.5 and so on i don't remember the exact values over there but that is what we had taken and then we said that okay 482 is the price at which maximum people want to bid so let's have it at 482 okay and then to whom the shares would be allotted and all all those things were discussed okay so final price is basically determined on the basis of demand and supply then uh, as already said there is something called as a floor price and the cap price Full floor price is the minimum price that you can bid for and cap price is the maximum price that you can bid for okay so that is what floor and cap price talks about coming to the next one we are talking about the characteristics of book building okay what are the characteristics of book building first one is it is a tendering process tendering is nothing but bidding process where uh, since i have told you why i to, uh, why i took the process first and then i am explaining this is now you can understand what i was talking about okay it's a tendering process where people bid the investors bid for the share and at different prices and the bid which has the highest uh, demand that would be the price so that is what the tendering process talks about okay so basically uh, it's a bidding process to determine the price of the share okay to arrive at a particular price of a of the shares to be issued so that is what tendering process is so it's a part of book building so second one is floor price yes the floor price is decided now i told you uh, book building is a combination of quantitative methods as well as qualitative methods so the base price is decided in using the quantitative methods using valuation in terms of uh, discounted methods non discounted methods or relative valuation methods and some more n number of methods which are used for evaluating the uh, for uh, for determining the floor price of the share once that is done then the price band is decided now i have also discussed about the price band where i said the price band cannot be uh, more than the band the range but it cannot be more than 20% like let's say if it is 100 rupees is the floor price your cap price cannot be more than 120 rupees okay it has to be within that range 20% range itself okay so that is how the price band is decided then bidding happens okay that is another characteristics of book building where bids are uh, invited and people or investors and the syndicate members bid for the shares and then the price is decided after that allotment is done okay after the price is decided then the allotment happens the people who have uh, quoted or bid for a price greater than the price decided okay will get the shares the people who have uh, bid for price less than the uh, fixed price the final price do not get the shares they get the refund okay so that is what allotment talks about after allotment then the participants who all are participants in the book building process one is the book runner who takes care of the entire book building process the syndicate members the issuer's bank basically the bank with whom the issuer has uh, ag uh, signed an agreement for issue the investment banker syndicate members okay if one particular bank cannot handle the entire issue on its own then they approach a syndicate that is a group of banks and the entire syndicate will uh, be a part of the issue process so they are participants to the issue process so these are the various participants that are there which are involved into the issue process in fact we have also studied this this uh, separately as the participants of issue okay if you remember the banker to the issue broker the registrar then the bro uh, then the book runner 
okay all those parties which we have discussed if you remember there was a flow chart that i had uh, put on the slide and i had explained you each and every member each and every participant so same thing applies over here okay so these are the characteristics of book building process this is how book building process happens okay these are the various things that are involved in a book building process okay coming to the next one is the mechanism or the process of book building okay now here you need to understand two things okay there is something called as 75% book building and there is something called as 100% book building okay now 75% book building means what out of the total issue that is there okay only 75% of the total issue can be given for book building remaining 25% would be done by fixed pricing okay that is what 75% book building talks about 75% goes for book building 25% are issued at a fixed price okay so there are uh, the eligibility norm is basically if any company is for see basically there is there are two types 75% book building and 100% book building eligibility for both is different so listen to me very carefully here okay so when i talk about 75% book building process the eligibility is very simple if you are eligible to issue shares as per the companies act as per the sebi then you can go for 75% book building okay so there is uh, in fact no eligibility at all anybody who is going for an issue can go for a 75% book building then year marking of securities can somebody tell me what is this year marking guys mm -hmm. i want you to participate because uh, 1:30 time to sleep for most of you and if i go on speaking you definitely will sleep so i don't want you all to sleep i want you to answer so can somebody tell me what is year marking yes narayan no sir i don't know okay sushmita mane i don't know any idea no sir no priti priti you're there yes sir yes can you tell me what is your mark i do uh, no idea sir no idea very good you get an idea pradnya patil yes sir yes can you tell me what is your marking so i don't know sir. you also don't know okay saraswati yes sir can you tell me what is your marking don't know sir Nance Yes sir, I don't know Yes sir you don't know okay No Vishakha no. Vishnu Vishnu you are there Vishnu are you there Ganesh Yes sir Yes Ganesh Prasad can you tell me what is your yes, marking of securities or your marking Sir I don't know sir Rohit So is it like keeping specific amount of securities for a specific purpose Perfect that is the answer Okay you are you're marking the securities that means you are keeping certain securities aside for book building certain amount of securities for private placements let's say certain amount of securities for rights issues and so on and so forth right that is what your marking of securities is so first you need to have an eligibility once you are eligible then you your mark the securities how much would be that 75% portion to be given and how much would be that 25% okay so you your mark securities or you allot securities to each and every person uh, each and every party uh, participant let's say okay 
then a draft prospectus. Okay, uh, I have discussed about prospectus, so I want you all to answer what is a prospectus. Quickly answer what is a prospectus. Sanjay. It Sanjay. is. Mm. Sanjay, what is a prospectus? Dhanashree? Dhanashree, you're there? Yes, sir. Yes, can you tell me what is a prospectus? Dhanashri, I'm you are not audible. Your voice is breaking. Or you are not speaking at so all. So used to So it is like used to advertise. Can you be be a bit louder, please? Okay, Priyanka. Priyanka, can you tell me what is a prospectus? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you tell me what is a prospectus? <coughs> anyone, guys, anyone who knows what is prospectus? So it is a printed booklet. It is an invitation. invitation to so it is an invitation. Yes, to the general public to purchase. To the general public. public. Very nice, very nice, Ashwin. Okay, so it's an invitation to the general public. So it is a part of an invitation which uh, to the general public to uh, subscribe for the shares of the company. Okay, so you have to send a draft prospectus to SEBI for corrections. Okay, and your prospectus should include all the mediators, intermediaries. Uh, or all the participants that are related to the issue, okay, the SEBI uh, will scrutinize the draft and it will approve the draft or it will ask you to revise the draft prospectus, okay. So that is what you need to do. Whenever your draft prospectus is ready, you have to send it to SEBI for corrections, okay. Next one is appointment of a book runner, okay. Now to, uh, it's a book building process. So there is something called something, someone known as a book, uh, book runner. Normally, an investment banker or a uh, or a merchant banker, who, uh, investment banker or a merchant banker who becomes a book runner, who will uh, manage your entire show of book building process. Okay, so you have to appoint a book runner, and his name should be mentioned in the prospectus. Okay, like uh, and other participants also. It's not only the book runner, but other participants' name also should be mentioned in the prospectus that you are going to. Uh, submit to the SEBI and later issue to the general public. Okay, so you have to appoint a book runner who will take care of all the activities related to the book building process. Okay, then price setting. Yes, once the book builder or the book runner is appointed, he goes ahead with the process of book building and during the process, uh, we, uh, the book runner would, uh, would receive lots of bids for the shares at different price levels. Then the book runner would decide which at which price there is highest demand and then accordingly the price is decided so that is what price setting talks about next one is underwriting now there are various underwriters who are involved in the issue so uh, they are involved in underwriting the shares so they take the shares of the company at the uh, price which is decided above and uh, that is their responsibility to uh, uh, to make sure that the issue is subscribed by most of the investors or it is uh, oversubscribed, whatever it, uh, is their plan, okay? So underwriters have the responsibility of making the issue successful, okay? So appointment of underwriter should be there. So underwriter can be a institution or it can be a bank or it can be a syndicate of banks, etc. Then comes to bank account. Now there should be two bank accounts which are to be prepared over here. Okay, one is for the 75% uh, book build, uh, through uh, the 75% of the issue that you're going to collect through book building process. Okay, so for that you need to have one account and for another 25% which you're going to go for fixed pricing, you need to have another account, bank account where the application money would be deposited. Okay, so there should be two accounts that you need to have 
for a 75% book building. Next one is allotment. So once the shares are, sub, uh, the price is decided, the shares are subscribed for, the issue is done, okay? Now is the time for allotment of shares to the, uh, to whom the shares are being issued, okay? So uh, initially you get the issue notice that the shares are being issued to you and later you get the shares in your DMAT account, okay? Earlier it was share certificates which used to come to the house, but nowadays it is electronic, so everything goes to the DMAT account, okay? Uh, so uh, to uh, allotment, that is allotment. Then listing, once the allotment is done, within uh, the next five days or within, within the next seven days, the listing has to happen on the stock exchange, okay? So the uh, listing happens and uh, it ha does not happen and the, uh, uh, it does not happen um, at the issue price, but it may be, it, it happens on the price higher than the issue price or lesser than the issue price. That is, it may be oversubscribed or undersubscribed and the price should, would be a premium or it may be a discounted price. So issue uh, listing is completely a different process where the shares are actually listed on the stock market at a particular price, which may be greater or lesser than the issue price. Then comes the inspection. So SEBI has, SEBI has the entire right of inspection of all the books and the records related to the book building process, the procedure that has been followed. So SEBI appoints an inspection committee to inspect the various processes, the uh, books, everything which were, which were prepared during the book building process. So this is how the mechanism of book building process works when it is 75% book building. Okay, coming to the next one. Okay, um, it's 100% book building. I okay, I'll just uh, tell you the points, I guess, um, the slide, I, I don't know why, why the slide is not opening. Okay, I'll just explain you the 100% uh, book building process. Almost similar, though the, there are some changes which happens. <coughs> like first one is eligibility. Okay, in 100% book building process, okay, the eligibility is that, the only eligibility is that the issue should be more than 25 crores. If the issue is less than 25 crores, then you cannot go for 100% book building. Okay, so that is the condition that, uh, that uh, or the eligibility criteria that has been imposed by SEBI. That is, if you want to go for a 100% book building process, then your mini the issue price, uh, the, the issue, the value of your issue should be minimum 25 crore rupees. Okay. Then next one is uh, the conditions. There are lots of conditions. As I've already told you, the first one is 25 crores condition. Excuse me. Then uh, there are conditions on reservations of uh, certain percentage of shares to the promoters. Then uh, the allotment dates, uh, the allotment should be done on specified dates. There is a timeline which the company has to follow. Like uh, it has to issue the prospectus to SEBI maybe around uh, 10 days, uh, 10 to 11 days before the uh, actual allotment, uh, actual issue is pub made public, okay? In case of 75%, it goes to around 30 days or 60 days before the issue, uh, before the actual issue of the shares, I'm sorry, not issue of the shares, before the actual um, opening of the issue, okay? Uh, it has to be filed with the SEBI in case of 100%, uh, it, it is, around 11 days, 10 to 11 days, okay? Then uh, lead book, uh, book runner has to be appointed, okay? Yeah, it is almost similar to your 100%. So this, uh, this book runner, again, appoints uh, the intermediaries or he takes care of the banks and the syndicates for the book building process. So he is the main person to uh, go ahead with the bidding process and deciding on what should be the price of the issue. So that is another... Uh, process that has to be followed. Next comes draft prospectus, which is a part of 75% also. So in the draft prospectus, all the details should be explained, okay, as to who is the book runner, lead book runner, which are the, who are the various participants involved in the uh, issue, what is the price range, okay, everything should be properly mentioned in the draft prospectus, okay. After this, then comes your... Uh, Essential disclosures, again, there are lots of disclosures like uh, your PV ratio before the issue, PE ratios, not PV ratio, 
P. Guys, uh, are you able to see it or there's some issue? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, sir, we can see. We can yeah. see, sir. Ah, okay, so uh, yeah, good. Uh, it opened also now. Okay, the slide was not opening. Um, great. Okay, um, I hope you can see the 100% book building, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So I was talking about uh, essential disclosures. So there are lots of disclosures that you have to make to the SEBI, okay, and to the uh, uh, according to the Companies Act, you have to make lots of disclosures like what would what 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 was the NAV before the issue, what was the PE ratio before the issue, okay. Then who is the book runner, okay? Who are the various participants involved? Then uh, who is the registrar, who is the banker, etc. All these disclosures have to be done to the SEBI and to the general public in the form of prospectors again. Okay. Then obviously you go for advertisements. You advertise your uh, issue through television or print media or the social media. All these um, uh, mediums are used for advertising the issue. Then are the stock brokers. These are the brokers who act as a mediator between the stock exchange and the investor. So uh, they may be they may be authorized collectors or collection agents also. So you, uh, you have to make sure that there are appointments. Uh, these brokers are appointed, and the required material is sent to these brokers, and applications are collected by the brokers. Okay, so appointment of brokers is important. Then comes your bidding process, okay, which happens regularly as per the book building process. Okay, the syndicate members, the investment bankers or syndicate members, and the investors who are interested in bidding can uh, uh, participate in the bidding process. Okay, and once the bidding is completed, the book runner, okay, the lead book runner would uh, decide on the final price of the issue and accordingly the shares would be issued to the parties or the participants who are eligible for that uh, for getting the shares issued to them okay so that is what happens in the bidding process after the bidding process yes allotment process comes where only few people uh, only the selected people would uh, get the shares allotted to them not everyone will get the shares first condition would be if your price is above or equal to the final issue price then only you are going to get the shares then only you are eligible to get the shares if your uh, quoted price is less than the final price then you will definitely not get the shares okay so the, the allotment process is done then those who have not uh, uh, those who are those who have been not allotted the shares okay share allotment is not done for uh, those people refund is uh, created so the banks have to refund the money to their accounts okay and last one is certificate nowadays there is no share certificate okay but uh, it was a procedure where hard copies of the shares used to be sent to the postal addresses of the investors okay but nowadays it goes into your demat account through the depositories okay so that is how the 100% book building process works okay most of the processes remain the same only change would be the condition that is your 25 crores of condition okay and the second change would be in 100% all the shares would be issued through book building process whereas in 75% 75% would be issued through book building process and the remaining 25% would be issued through fixed price that you cannot negotiate on the price so that is the only difference between 75% uh, book building process and 100% book building process okay i hope you are clear with these two slides that is a 75% book building process and 100% book building process. Guys, if you are clear, then um, I give a thumbs up so that I can go ahead because we are just left with five minutes. So I just want to complete this book building process. So please give a thumbs up if you are clear with both the processes. That is 100% and 75%. If you're not clear, please uh, unmute yourself and ask the question. Uh, please do that. So I guess there are no questions. Is everyone clear? Neither you are answering the, uh, you're, neither you are asking questions, neither you are yes, sir. giving a thumbs up. What should I understand now? 
Okay, fine. Fair enough. I assume that you have understood it since there are no questions. We'll go to the advantages of book building process. Okay. Um, first one, uh, it helps you in determining the intrinsic, intrinsic value of the uh, shares. Intrinsic value is the real value. Okay, so due to book building process, you uh, talk about the demand and supply and accordingly you try to find out the exact value of your uh, shares. So uh, you find out the uh, intrinsic value. The accuracy of the price is almost, uh, the price is almost accurate because uh, since it is done by through a bidding process, so you know what the investors are really expecting the price to be. So there is no under or over pricing of the shares. Okay, so the price is almost accurate to what the expectations are. Next one is uh, price is extreme uh, for the issuer. Okay, sometimes, yes, the for the issuer, like company which is issuing, the price is the highest price because that is what they look for. Okay, so extreme price, which is again advantageous to the issuer. Uh, the process is very cheap, okay, cheaper. Okay, less time required, less money, less amount required, so it is cheaper. Trustworthy because since there are investors who are bidding for the shares, they are, uh, uh, so the price that you arrive at, okay, is, you can depend on that price because it is already given by the investors themselves. Because it is the willingness of the investors to buy the shares at that particular price. So it is trustworthy. Then elasticity with price determination and size of the issue. Yes, you are very, uh, basically, uh, you uh, try to find out the price elasticity in terms of issue size. Okay, and try to create a relationship between the price and the size of the issue. Okay, and last one is transparency. The deciding the price is very transparent because it is done through bidding and even the allotment is very transparent. Okay, so these are the uh, advantages of book building process starting from your determine, it helps you in determining the intrinsic value. It is accurate, uh, it's extreme price for the issuer then it's cheap as compared to the other processes. You can trust on the company or trust on the price. There is uh, elasticity which is determined between the price and the <coughs> uh, issue size or the demand and the, it is more transparent than any other process because everybody is involved in the process. So it is it becomes more transparent. Okay, so that is how uh, these are the advantages of book building process. Coming to the disadvantages, I, uh, I just found two disadvantages. One is lack of clarity. Okay, though the process is, uh, seems to be very clear, uh, very simple, but it's not as clear. Like uh, we are, there are lots of confusions that are there. There are lots of uh, uncleared uh, procedures and policies which are not really clear. So there is lack of clarity in the process as to how to arrive at the exact price. So there is no fixed rule. And that is why it is said it is not clear and not appropriate tool for price discovery is what is said. Okay, now you cannot uh, just depend on this demand and supply because it is done by a few people who uh, who bid for the price and then the price is decided. So some experts, okay, say that it may not be an most appropriate tool for price discovery. So these are some of the disadvantages of the book building process. Okay. I hope you're clear with uh, the entire process of book building because it is very important guys and a sure shot question would be there in your examination about book building. So if there are any doubts about book building process, the characteristics, the mechanism of 75% book building or 100% book building, then advantages and disadvantages. You are free to ask. We are left with less than a minute. So I'll be stopping uh, uh, the class will at any time. So if you have any doubt, you can, you can go ahead and ask. If no, please give a thumbs up and I'll stop the meeting or stop the class. <clears throat>